Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to my first uh, movie reaction. We are going to be reacting to Clint Eastwood's High Plains Drifter. I'm joined by my wife, Christy. She's the one that mainly uh, suggested this one. Um, I thought she had seen the movie completely before, but you just haven't really seen it all the I've way seen through. Parts. And then Snippets. me, and then me, I know of the movie. I think I've only seen four Clint Eastwood movies now that I really think about it. The three from the Dollars Trilogy and Million Dollar Baby. So three Westerns and a boxing movie. See, and I don't think I've seen hardly any of his movies, but I have seen Paint Your Wagon, which most people that are Clint Eastwood fans don't include that one or they haven't seen it. I'm still trying to get my husband to see it because Clint Eastwood is like really young in it and he sings. Now that is a fantastic movie though. That is a really, really good movie, really funny. And I think he's fantastic in it, but yeah, so like that's my favorite Clint Eastwood movie, but obviously this is a whole different type of thing. <laughs> so to be frank, I, I know nothing about this movie outside the fact that it is a Western. I don't know if it's going to fall in the same vein of it being like his Dollars tri Trilogy with as the Spaghetti Westerns. I think this one is an American production, so I would imagine that sound effects and everything might be different. But again, I know nothing about it. I know nothing going into it. I don't know the story plot. I would just imagine it's Clint doing Clint things. So yeah. Anyhow, um, we'll go ahead and get. We know it's a Clint Eastwood <laughs> film. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that says a that lot. That we know for sure. So. Uh, we will go ahead and get started. If you're interested in watching um, the full reaction to this, I will have um, this on my Patreon. It will just be a full watch along. We are watching this on Tubi. So if you look in the bottom left under the screen, I'll have a timer on there as a guide for you to know exactly where we are in the movie. Just because um, if you're watching on Tubi, you know, you could run into ads. We could run into ads. It could be at different times, but at least you have the timer to keep track of where we are. And I will periodically have. Um, spots in there to show and hear where we are so you can keep track with that. So let's go ahead and get started Out the presses somebody new in town I don't know why that always bugged me in movies Was that your attempt at a Western accent? No, okay Granted if it was it would probably be in a mocking tone anyways Okay. Mining. Okay. Well, he's what always looks like he has a grudge. That's true, though I'm very curious about that. Well, I have all the things I could possibly really get his attention. Them leaving's what did it. I think he's got some of that big shit in his ear. I don't know which what? Works. Why are they picking yep. on him? Seriously, bro? Whoa! 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 Okay! Yeah, definitely not a... Wow. Dang! What did you say your name was again? <laughs> I didn't. Well, he said what I was thinking. No, I guess you didn't at that, did you? I mean, granted, that would explain why you had him. I think that's him. Doesn't look like him. Oh, okay. I mean, if it's something that he knew about or witnessed, that would explain why he had an issue at the beginning of the movie when they whipped that horse and he just, like, whipped his head back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay, well, whoever that is, that's, like, so it's not him because that's, like, some sort of law enforcement because he has a badge. Oh. And they all just stood around and watched, didn't they? Dude. Oh, I see. What are they okay. doing? Are they beating him to death with a whip? Shit. Eee. Yeah. What you're trying to say is there's no charge, right? Uh, well, forgive and forget, you know? That's uh, uh, our motto. <laughs> Apparently so. Okay, that water ain't gonna save you. Um. I 
Okay, she somehow and he still got the cigar. <laughs> That's a bad memory. It would take us slow to get mad. <laughs> you know? Maybe you can go back for more. Oh my. I'm... Oh my. You know? You don't want your shops or your houses burned. You don't want your women touched. You don't want anything to happen. Except you're afraid to do anything about it. Or you don't know how. Interesting. We're trying it out. Guess the target practice? Yep. That makes sense. Wait, nobody fired? Nobody shot at it? I did. There's no one hit. Oh. Whoa. Alright. Show them how it's done. We can just like. Just like that. They're taking your horses. Ah, uh, if you didn't drop the wood, you might have made it. You know, like they're just they're, it's not just about getting the horse, you know. What yeah. I mean? Like these are clearly bad guys. Just a lot of unnecessary work. Remember, he won't be around forever, you know. <laughs> Man, oh man, this town. So, so you got they're it. in danger because of these three dudes. They hire him to save them. To rest, you know, to kill these three dudes, right? Mm -hmm. So they need him. But yet they're so mean to him. <laughs> and And they're complaining the whole time about everything he's doing. But this was, this was their it idea. This what, was... It probably wasn't quite what they were uh, expecting. Oh, those are the, so those are the three guys that got out. So they killed, I guess he was the marshal. Yeah, but it's like, like, they got away with doing this. But what's really terrible is that the whole town did absolutely nothing. So, who's at fault? But, which is like, you know, the ultimate question, right? Who's at fault? The people that actually whipped this poor guy or the people that stood around and watched it happen did nothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that entire town could have rose up and stopped it. I mean, this is like, you know, this is the ultimate age-old question, you know, this is like... I'm gonna say, that must have been... I mean, considering this was 73, this must have been a pretty traumatizing scene, though. You think so? No. Yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. I mean, back... I mean, back then, I mean... You think about movies like even Jaws... Yeah. And some of the scenes there, you know, that to, was, I mean, to us, yeah. it's kind of like, oh, wow, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, I've even seen some people that, like, they had stuff like that in the 70s, because, you know, you wouldn't get, like, I guess you'd say, you know, grotesque violence back in the day. Mm -hmm. You know, you really didn't start seeing that probably until, like, probably when, like, the 80s action movies started. So something like this, I mean, literally watching a man get whipped to death. Looks like he's got ketchup on him. <laughs> This is different than his movies, right? I just don't I don't remember his movies like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely different. I mean he has been in a variety of movies, but you know. Let me I'm gonna shoot her. I'd almost say she's in oh it. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so tense. And then you spoke. And I just... 
Chomped. <laughs> oh, she's in on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you said, there was there was some ulterior motives. Uh-huh. Welcome to I can't imagine. Son of a bitch. No, he knew. Come on. There's no way. Yep. Oh! Oh! See, that's why he wanted to get everybody out of the hotel. Because he knew. He probably even knew that no matter where he stayed at in the town, this was going to be. So end he up. practically saved everybody's life by kicking them out. Yeah. I knew there he, had to be an ulterior motive. If oh, he had, and now he's going to shoot them as they're coming out. Because if he had, you know, gotten just a hotel room, you know, and stayed in that, you know, they would have. I knew you were cruel, but I didn't know how far you could go. Well, you still don't. Well, it doesn't matter to you. I don't know where you're gonna sleep now. Bodies everywhere. All the rooms are ruined except for our room. Bingo. Have you ever heard the name Jim Duncan? I've heard a lot of things. Why? He was town marshal here. He's lying out there in an unmarked grave. They say the dead don't rest without a marker of some kind. Mm. Do you believe that? What makes you think I care? I don't know. You know what to do. Yes, sir, Captain. Okay. All right. Everybody grab a brush and start in. Give me that combination, Mark. I would give you the combination to the gates of hell. Well. Whoa. Okay, what did he do? Jabbed it right in his throat. Okay. Okay. Oh my. Well. <laughs> but you haven't met Clint. Mm. Oh, speaking of dynamite. Maybe that's where he found the dynamite. Maybe they had the dynamite Daddy, ready or stashed there or something. Damn near tore my leg off. Your worst nightmare. Ah. Uh, nothing. Uh oh. 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 They hit the uh, his little thing of dynamite, right? Really, really upset for the horses. Then. It's a lot of trauma for horses being around all that noise. Well. Well, he could have shot your whole damn head off and get down. Yes, and we have seen him do that. Well, on dummies. Yeah, with the dummies. <laughs> I'll kill you! Think you son of a bitch, I'll kill you! Come down out of there, you bastard! I'll cut your heart off! Let's go up there, face might be some more dynamite. I'll kill him. I'll get him. Whoever was up there. No, I don't think you will. Guests are on the way to the party, so gather all the people together. Right, Captain. All right, men, get that sign up. It's interesting how with the red paint, it looks like blood. Maybe that Maybe was the that's point. point. Yeah. <laughs> like, like when you see the people, like they got the paint on their hands and their shirt, and and it looks like they have blood yeah. on their hands and their shirt. You know, so hmm. Which, I mean, technically, they do have blood on their hands. True, yeah. When are you going to give the signal? No, I'm not. You are. <laughs> Film before green screen, you know? Kind of interesting when you know that's all real, you know? Real mountains and everything. Yeah. 
and uh, those people are really out there in it, in the sun. I'm just wondering, like, what time of year and what time of day they filmed so that everybody wasn't dying of dehydration. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they filmed it in winter, because, I mean, everyone's in long sleeves, so. But, yeah. I mean, back in the day, long, in summer or not, long sleeves were, like, the fashion. I mean, okay. yeah, they had short sleeves, but it's not like long sleeves were uncommon. Oh, you mean, you mean, like, in the 1800s? Yeah. Okay. I bet he's going to leave. He's going to leave? I mean, that's kind of like what a lot of these folks wanted, so. True. That's exactly what. Uh... <laughs> I'm really going to realize how much they really need them. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Well, you never know until the person. Mm -hmm. They all left their purchase. They did. Every... They all left. No? Yeah? He's yelling at everybody to fire. And first guy drops his gun and runs to hide. Well, now what's interesting is that that's basically what they did to that one guy, right? Well, I mean, they watched, but they did nothing. And that's what he's doing. He's doing nothing. And they're all right with dummies. Now it's the real thing. Nobody's doing anything. Is that the point? Like, ooh. Oh my. Okay. Stun double did their work that day. Okay. Yeah, you're toast. Okay. Oh, huh. He came back. He's the one who ambushed you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little confused. Can they see? Can all the people inside see? And I think they can only hear. Okay. Destiny broke his neck a bit. Alright, well there's one down. He's certainly toying with them now. Mm-hmm. Toying with them good. But is he toying with the whole town? Is he just toying with them? Is it really even about them? A little confused. Whoa! What is he, like, in the air? How is he doing this? That's a really good shot. Hey! Hanging on boy with a whip. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? This could have been an early Gotham City. Mm -hmm. He's not really about to try to take him out after he just took out those three. Oh, the who shot him? More guy shot him. Oh, 
Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Nice. Nice. You know what's crazy though is I think I think of the Dollars trilogy. They always call him the man with no name, but in all three movies except for Good, Bad, and the Ugly, he actually did have a name. But they never did say his name in this. We have no idea what his name is. Yeah, you're right. They never said it once. You're right. It's like this is more of a man with no name movie than the actual man with no name movies. No kidding. <laughs> I never did know your name. Well, there we go. Yes, you do. Huh? Take care. Eh? Yes, sir, Captain. Wait. So that's him? He's like a like a ghost? Because they said, like, you know, if you don't have a, a gravestone... You can never really rest. Yeah, yeah. And he just said they didn't... Okay, so he came back for revenge? Well, there you go. That would explain why he looked like he had beef with the town. And the town... Well, no, I mean... And him appearing out of nowhere. The, the townspeople didn't recognize him. Oh, look them. at that. Right there. He just... Mm vanished yeah, so maybe yeah he had a gravestone very good movie um but i i think it's interesting because like it kind of reminded me of that where like you just have this like you know person that was obviously mistreated and uh and then they well, come... i mean he was what the death <laughs> yeah I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that he'd actually died. Although now that I think about it, I think I heard that about this movie. I think. Well, you said that like at the beginning, where yeah, because you, you said something about him being dead. Well, I remember Clint being in some movie where he was like, I just can't, I can't aim right. This thing. But like where he was like, did it get smaller? Because I don't know. Really, I don't remember the screen being that small. No, you just moved up. But like I like I remember, you know, um, you know Clint being. Uh... No, I don't remember what my thought was. <laughs> I was going somewhere with it. Something about him being dead, but. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you had yeah, mentioned that. I just, like, at I the just remember something about Clint being in a movie, but I'm trying to remember like was I was it that I I'd heard that he was a ghost in the movie, um, or that I'd heard that he was like, you know, just back from the dead. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess it also kind of makes sense when you think about it, because I mean, when you like went to the hotel the first time, he had that dream. Yeah. Because we're, I was thinking that it was just somebody that he knew who got wept. No, so that was him. So he had been the person that was killed, by you know by being whipped, but more that importantly, also... everybody in the town watching and doing nothing. Yeah. That also does explain how that blonde somehow missed all those shots when he was in the tub. I just think it's kind of interesting how they also kind of went in a supernatural uh, aspect yeah. of that, too. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely not something you really see too much in Western movies. And I mean, again, I mean, I have to give Eastwood credit for kind of doing a Western that was probably way different than any character he did. I mean, it's kind of like you almost had the sense of... Besides the sense. Okay, you need to get off that. No, I'm not. I'm not getting out of it. Because when I talk about Eastwood Westerns, I'm talking about movies I where know, he goes I know. in and you know he's going to mess somebody up. Mm-hmm. Yes, the badass movies. Yes. I mean, that that is the thing. I mean, he's he has been in a variety of movies, you know, but you can't be the movie where he sings. I do have to admit, that does have me curious. I'm very curious <laughs> to see what is sing. I mean, just because the movies I hear his voice is just so, like, rough and everything i can't imagine him yes. having a decent singing voice but then again as far as we know his cigar smoking probably gave him that gruff voice i mean as far as i knew he really didn't even i mean he could have smoked cigars before that but i mean i always know the story where um the um sergio leone the guy who directed the dollars trilogy like always made him smoke cigars and he hated the taste of them that's why he always looked so mad wow paint your wagon was sorry Pete Wagon was 69. I was trying to see, like, um... 69? Yeah, I think 69. that's after the... That's after his, uh, like, Dollars Trilogy, I believe. Is it? Is it? I don't know. I, think... I was trying to see, like, 
They have a thing on here where yeah, they're listing Good, this... Bad, and the Ugly is 1966. Wow. Well, I just remember he was... So he was a badass before he was a singer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that makes that even more curious. Yeah. Yeah, you got Where Eagles Dare, Coogan's Bluff. Oh, that sounds familiar. I might have seen that one. Hang em High. I think I've seen that one. The Witches. Oh, Hang em High. That's another one I... The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. For a few dollars more. Yeah, a few dollars more was 65 a fistful of dollars is 64 my goodness. Yeah. This guy goes way back. Way oh, yeah. More, way more than I realized. Yeah, I'm about to say. He, he Alan in Movie Land in 1955 was his first movie. Interesting. Never even heard of that. But, yeah. See, I didn't realize that uh, Paying Your Wagon definitely did come after his, his, some of his, some of his gruffy movies. Which probably makes me wonder if he did that to kind of get out of that typecast. Yeah. I don't know. Because, I mean, some of his movies are definitely out of that typecast. I mean, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a John Wayne thing. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you get in that role and it's like... That's how people just remember you. I mean, like, yeah. like you're talking about John Wayne. Most people remember him as either a cowboy or a soldier. Mm -hmm. But, Lord knows he's done other stuff, but who knows him and that... I mean, and then, I mean, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, Rambo. Yeah, he's got a couple other movies that he might be known as, but those are the primary ones. You know, Schwarzenegger had, I mean, it's like all the big actors like had their like big, like certain characters that they are. Yeah, well, they, uh, he might not have even gotten typecast. I think he probably would have enjoyed doing more musicals. Yeah, probably. You know? But, I mean, it just kind of shows you and how it's going. And getting to the play the that... good guy, the decent guy. He was like a total gentleman in the movie. Yeah. I mean, again, I mean, this is definitely, but I mean, even this movie is just such a... Why do all of his dang movies gotta be hot? <laughs> Did he ever do anything in the snow? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I mean, if you're doing a western, I don't know if there's I, any I know, that's this... true, that's true. That, that, that's I mean, you gotta think, thing. even in the that's winter, thing, you know, yeah. it's gonna be warm. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, it's just like, it's like a thing with him. It's like all these movies, everybody's sweating. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that pretty much does it for that. I personally kind of enjoyed it outside of a couple parts. This is definitely a movie I kind of do want to rewatch just to kind of catch some clues. But overall, I got to say, I kind of enjoyed it. Definitely was, mm, I was kind of expecting more of the spaghetti Western type stuff. So to see yeah. that he definitely departed from that and, uh, Definitely played a different character than what I was used to, so I definitely gotta give him credit for that. And even the fact that I didn't know he directed this either, so yeah. you know, so kudos to him for that. But um, so that'll do it for that. So thank you all for stopping by. Uh, if you got any uh, suggestions, whether it be uh, Clint Eastwood movies or whether you want us to watch a, we talked any of the about ones... RoboCop. Yeah, we are thinking about doing RoboCop, um, but Maybe we um... should do Paint and Wagon. It's gonna be too long though. It's like a two. It's a two VHS movie. Yeah, we. That's all I know about it. Yeah, we. If we do do that, that might be a two. I had harder. back in the VHS days, and it was it was a two, two, uh, like when you had the big boxes of them. Yeah, but um. <laughs> well, with that being said, you know, so anything that you'd like to suggest, you know, definitely leave them down in the comments, and then um, as we start getting some more patrons uh, rolling in, you know, we'll probably start having some polls for like movie series. Uh, movies themselves like if you want to see us do the dollar trilogy granted i've seen all of them so if anything i would probably um force her to sit through them or maybe have my kids watch them oh i've definitely got movies that he has not seen see i i have movies that he hasn't seen and they're usually kind of like funny um well i mean like running man was one you haven't seen running man no i have not seen running man and then like planes, trains, and automobiles, he has not seen that. And then time after time, you haven't seen that, and that has a lot of stars in it. Back when they were young, that's a movie. I he even has heard not of. seen The Shining all the way through. I've seen bits and pieces of it. Oh man, The Shining is that would be a good Halloween one. 
That is a very, very intense movie to see if you ain't seen it before. See, I have a horrible feeling that now that these people know I haven't seen The Shining all the way through, that's probably going to be something that might be highly suggested. So uh, Even Running Man, yeah. I could see The Shining for Running Shining, Man, but then yeah. I don't know. I mean, because really, honestly, like, when you think about it, like, Shine, The Shining is such a big part of, like, you know, culture, and, and there's so many things that other movies and the fact that it's like i haven't that, even it's like i haven't even seen yeah. the movie but i know the here's johnny scene yeah i mean everybody does but i mean like even like what was it in toy story like the carpeting that they use in toy story of the the one boy that's like really like the, he's that bad kid that like cuts up all the oh, toys Sid. yeah so it's crazy with names it's scary and um so like the carpeting that he, that sid has is the same carpeting pattern from the shining you know just things like that and then, of course the twins the girls the twin girls in the movie you know like that's you know that's that's in so many mm -hmm. things yeah you know but you know i always felt really really bad for what shelly duvall went through you know but i didn't see that movie when i was growing up i saw that movie when i was an adult and uh so i already knew a lot of the culture references i kind of knew what was going to happen going into it so i wasn't going into it like it was the very first time seeing it so like i hadn't seen it but like i, I had an idea what was gonna happen but man oh man that is that's a that, that movie's a trip i tell you i mean especially when you watch it all the way through beginning to end from the creepy music at the very beginning <laughs> to the very end it is like whoa yeah yeah that would be a good one. That would be a good one. But I've seen it. He hasn't. So I've seen it more than once. Well, there y'all go. You already got some suggestions on what to force me to watch. So <laughs> either way, thank y'all for stopping by. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And we'll catch y'all down the road. Yep. <laughs>